Hey you guys, we are in the middle of a Havu storm and then we're supposed to get high winds and rainstorms. We've had two power outs so far and it's been crazy. So we're gonna have sardines. It may be out of a can by candlelight. So you guys, come and join us, won't you? doing Dr. Beckenberry's soulless move to get my soulless muscle in my calf to release glucose this morning before I do my reading to see if it works and if you guys haven't seen that go see this move from Dr. Kenberry and we'll link his little link to it down in the description below today. It's finger pricking time, it's finger pricking time, it's finger pricking time. Harry did your hula. Okay, let's get going. Oops, I forgot to wash. You start yours, I'll get mine. Your hand's cold. Water. Mm -hmm. Water turns cold here, everything turns cold. You guys, it's Part in the five. 60s. Part five, yay! This was 93 yesterday. Ooh, and a 97. Oh, all right. 0.5 and a 97. Oh, you've got, we gotta do it. Gotta do it. It's me, Mr. Industrial. Yeah. Honey, my little rag. Okay, good. The little rag is right there. Okay, just make There's sure. There's a little rag right there. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm excited. Yes, I am. Nope, 118 didn't work today. I don't understand why yours says you are not in GKI, glucose of 97 and 0.5. Oh, you always are. And That's I, weird. That's well, weird. always. You use the word always. always. I don't know. Always. 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 Okay. I'm not in GKI ketosis. No, I'm not, but I'm in ketosis. Oops, there it is. Okay. Back in the next segment, we're having a coffee now. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks. Welcome back everybody to Loving It On Can, Loving It On Keto. Yes, indeed, I'm Wendy. The cameraman is Harry and our little dog is little Sally Girl and we're getting hail right now. You guys, we've had three power outs now. Ooh, look at the wind, wow, holy moly. Those ugly black clouds we just showed you, we just got our groceries in. We had a, three power outs, so we went grocery shopping for the last one because SRP uh, sent us a notice that we would be without power for two hours and they were just about right. Now, we're gonna have sardine and eggs. And if our power goes out again, we can cook in our Vita because she has gas and we have a solar panel on top that has some electricity. But I can't cook a long casserole like I wanted to today. Um, and I apologize for that. got battery back because, up on the solar panels. Yes. Because these we, people are all going, wait a minute. You can't use a solar panel if the sun's blocking it. The if, batteries are charged. We have batteries so in there. Just so. enough to do that. But So anyway, I want to get through this quick because you never know. I just, we went shopping. Well, you guys, we have lost power a total of three times, 5.30 a.m., once at around 11, off and on, but now we just lost power for the third time, and it says it won't be on for two hours. So we set up a light for Sally, took her outside. It's super windy here. It's it's drizzling rain, but it's a dirty wind, so um, I think that's why the power is out. We are going to go to Bashes, and hopefully they're open and they have power just to kind of kill some time while our SRP is working on our power. So anyway, fun times in Arizona. Yes, indeed. And it's cold. It's in the 60s, and for us, you guys, I know that's warm for some of you. Cold here. We've got thin blood now, and it's cold. Hey, Harry. How's the weather? <laughs> well, it's kind of kind of starts with a C. Cold and lost power for the third time, so yeah. we're going shopping. So we thought we might as well go get out of the house. Yeah, it woke us up. At, it woke us up at five thirty this morning. Everything, the power went, clicked, and then everything starts beeping. Your computer, everything. 
It's done it three times only. This one, SRP said, okay, you guys, it's going to be about two hours. Go so I'm just going to, I just shut it all off. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck, right? Yep. Oh, look, it's a calm in the storm. It was so windy here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you guys in the next segment. I don't know where we are. I don't know what street this is. Anyway, Harry turned down a street and we're trying to get over to safety. That's because you said turn here. Hi. What, Harry? That's because you said turn here. I did. Okay. <laughs> He did. He went right. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in Safeways. Look at all the stuff they have here. Look at the Safeways. Look at all the stuff here. Wow, how cute is this? Look at the little snow guys. Little That's snow cute, man. huh? Yeah. So where are we? We are at a safe. We are at a Safeway down from our house, the opposite direction of Bashes. We decided to come here instead because they have a great produce area and Bashes is very small. I need to get radish for our recipe, heavy cream and some cheese. So let's go get started over here. Isn't he cute? Yeah. Cute little reindeer. I like him furry. He's furry. Yeah. He's cute. He's very cute. Look how beautiful they have. Ooh. Okay, there's the radish. I want to go get them. I want the one with bigger because I'm using them instead of potatoes. Yes, I said, instead of potatoes. Mm, that looks pretty good. Wonder how many I wonder how many I'll need. Oh, how much potatoes are you gonna make? It's for a casserole and sardines. So we have to like skin all those things and do all and that. Chop stuff? them. Yes, Harry. Oh, I'll leave that up to you. No. Yep. No? You Don't only... we have a machine that chops them or grates them? Yeah, but we don't have anything that takes the skin off of them. You, don't, you leave the skin on, babe. Oh, okay. What do you think? Two or three? Three. And each a bunch, so that's not bad. Yeah, that's three bucks for I want. I'm looking for a shallot. For it would what? be over here, a shallot. Right here. I want a, one shallot. One shallot. They're milder than onions, so I'm going to get one. They have corned beef, chicken, tuna, and a ton of Spam, lunch meat, all the way up Vienna sausage, smoked ham, beef, tons of salmon. Let me see where they're, where they're, huh, oh, here they are, up here. Mackerel, oh, they have King Oscar. People said this is really good. You gotta buy one, try it out. Not for three dollars and ninety nine cents. Three forty nine. Wow, have dollar store, you guys. I'm telling ya. Is that shelf stable? Crab meat, crab meat, clams, baby clams, smoked oysters. The only mackerel they have is King Oscar, skinless, boneless, but it's got pepper and tomatoes in it. You have to read the back and make sure there is no MSG and that it's virgin olive oil, which this one is. This, I am getting hurt. Salsa casera medium for a dish that I'm going to be making. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to share yet, but I need this. Yes, I do. Three forty-nine. Holy heck! Used to get these for ninety-nine cents. I know. Salsa brava. I need those for my dish. All of this is for sardines, you guys, that I'm making. So let's get going. The shelves are very well stocked. The meat looks naked back there a little bit. And the 
trailer. Oh yeah, put it in the big freezer. Yeah. In the trailer. So let's go over here. It says right here, contains up to 9.5% turkey broth, salt, sodium phosphate, sugar, and flavoring. So they inject them. I want to read these. I want to read the back of them. What are they? This one is water, modified cornstarch, maltodextrin, rice flour. Oh my gosh. This one is tons of stuff. Maltodextrin. Sugar, dextrose, onion. That's a no. <laughs> now, let's look at this, shall we? Eight percent salt, spices, natural flavor, no artificial ingredients, medium, minimally processed. How many pounds is this one? Where do you find the poundage? Well, maybe a weight. <laughs> How much is that? 15 pounds. There's eight people. We need heavy whipping cream for this one. And look, $4.99 for a small one. And there's holes. There's no Horizon Organic. So five bucks for 16 ounces, one pint, five bucks. It's ridiculous. Okay, now to the cheese. We want Oaxaca or Swiss cheese, Harry. You I choose. love Oaxaca. We'll get the Oaxaca. But the then. recipe calls for Swiss cheese. But I saw, but we don't have to use Swiss cheese. Zero carbs, so that's good. Let me see the Oaxaca. I sure love Oaxaca. It's zero carb too. I'd rather have this. All right, do that then. I think it melts so good. I really yeah. like this flavor better. I think it'll go good with sardines. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right Let's up. do that instead. Oaxaca. Oaxaca cheese. Yes. I need Mexican cheese for my other dish I'm going to be doing. Might as well get it while it's here. Or Oaxaca would go for that too. You know what? I want to do pepper jack cheese. I want you to shed pepper jack cheese for what I'm making. All right. So let me, let me put this back on. And I want Tillamook. Pepper jack. Tillamook pepper jack is what I'm going to use for a different recipe. Yes, I am. You know what would be really good? What? This. Borson. Oh, it is good stuff. Do you think? But it's a real soft cheese. Solid inside. You know? Yes. Well, I'm thinking of a recipe. I'll grab it for the recipe. One carb, five servings, two tablespoons. I'm going to grab this for one of my recipes. I just thought of in my head. Okay. Just thought of it. Okay, I think we got enough for sardines. Yes, we do. Sale for eight dollars. Yeah, I think it's on sale for eight bucks. So I'm just gonna get one. I'm not even drinking it anymore. Here. You guys. I'm not drinking Zevia anymore because it's so expensive, but here he is. So we're getting him one. He's got a rash in it. Ooh, you know what would be really good? What? This. Borson. Oh, it is good stuff. Do you think? But it's a real solid soft cheese, inside. You know? Yes, well, I'm thinking of a recipe. I'll grab it for the recipe. One carb, five servings, two tablespoons. I'm going to grab this 
for one of my recipes. I just thought of in my head, okay. just thought of it. Okay. Yep. You guys, we are in for a huge, huge storm. When our power comes on, we may be eating canned sardines and this may not be going out till tomorrow, you guys. We've had three power outs and that is nasty looking. Yes, indeed, and it is 114. We're at Safeway. We're gonna go home to see if our power's on. I'm checking the eucalyptus trees. There's a branch right, right there down that's hanging down. It's these big suckers. It is the calm before a huge storm that we are getting, you guys. Hey, so it's uh, time for my five minute coffee break, even though it's like really early in the morning. Uh, what we're going to be making today, I'm going to be making some cappuccino this morning because, uh, well, we really want that. And I want to show you this. Gladys sent us this. Gosh, it's been a couple of weeks now, I think. But I've been waiting for the right time to show it, you know. Now, this is kind of a really cool because it's got some car carmon in it. And, uh, and it's, this should make this a really, really good cappuccino is what I'm hoping. And we're going to be using, of course... One of these to, to get to make this in. So I'm gonna get right on that right away. Now um, you got a little spices, a little whipped cream. We're gonna make some whipped cream and the little whipper we got over there, which was gifted to us also, by the way. And I'm gonna put some sweetener in it also. So we're gonna make it all girly this morning. Yeah, this is not the way I use to drink the coffee, but I thought we might surprise Wendy with it, you know. So let's do it. Let's open this up. See what we got. I've already got it started. So there we go. And what's really nice? God, it smells great. And it's already been ground. Smell that? Oh yeah, it smells good, huh? You know it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use. Oh, let's see. 29 cc's or 30, you can go with the 30, and it's just about two uh, teaspoons full of, of of our coffee mix right here. So I filled this up with water right to the bottom. This is what this is, is a pressure release valve. A lot of you know because you've been watching me make these before. And you want to fill your water up in the, this is basically a small holding tank reservoir you want to call it for your water this is what you're going to be making your coffee with your your you know your cappuccino and when you fill your water up you want it to be right like i said right below the pressure valve now the coffee which i put right here this is which i used the 29 cc scoop single shot which is like i said about two teaspoons and that sets right in here like that now the thing about it is the water gets hot it causes the water to rise up through this tube, which then goes into where the coffee is, right? Then the lid goes on. But oh, for the lid, if you look at the bottom of the lid, you'll see that there's also, this is a filter, and it keeps the coffee, as the coffee is getting, you know, it's getting basically uh, turned into coffee by the water rising up into this area, it's gonna push it up through here, that water, through that coffee. You wanna do this hand tight, up into this top, which is like a percolator. See these holes? It'll come out those holes when we are ready to drink it. So let's put this on here. Our water's in here, our coffee's in the midsection, and this is basically, nothing's in it yet. So what we like to do, if you look, this is an electric stove, and you need to do this also with a gas stove, but you want to place the edge of this espresso maker, cappuccino maker, coffee maker, whatever you want to call it, right on the edge there of the burner. And the reason for that is because of this handle. You don't want to be grabbing this handle. You don't want this handle to get hot. So just put it right on the edge there. And it's going to take about six minutes or so to do this. So what I'm going to do is set a timer right back there. 
Well, can't really see it there, can we? Can we see it there? Kinda? All right, so we're gonna give it six minutes. And you wanna have this on medium. Because you don't want to over you don't want to overdo. Here it comes. Go ahead and move it off. You can see we have a nice, rich top full of basically strong coffee, but we're making it as a cappuccino today. But that's one of the reasons why you don't want to leave this lid open. You always want to have it totally closed. I had it open so you guys could see when it started what was going on. But uh, or you'll have a mess to clean up like I just had to do. So anyway, that's pretty much ready to go. Now, what we're going to do, we want to have, we're going to put some cream on the top. So what we're going to do is, what you do is you put, you pour a little bit of cream in here. As you can see, I got some cream. As you can see, I have cream in here already. And what this is going to do, it's going to froth the cream for me. So we can put it on top of our cappuccino. On this particular frother, we have a, a bottom stand which has the electricity going into it. And you can place this right on here. Turn it on. So right now what it's doing, it's taking the cream and it's basically whipping it. And you can see it's starting to make it to where you can't see down inside. But I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, so it just finished. How do I know? Because it turned itself off. That's pretty much how I go. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour the uh, cappuccino into the cups. So I'm going to take two drops of the English toffee and drop them inside. Okay, so we're just going to put some of this on the top. I happen to like a lot. And there you go. You like me, you like to taste a little bit of the cream on the top. Oh, it's so nice. Then I'll mix it. Not too much, just enough. Let's see how we go. Oh yeah! Hey, I made a good one! <laughs> I mean, this is probably the best one I've made so far. Well, I think we're gonna get some to Wendy. What do you think? I'm gonna go wake her up with a nice cup of cappuccino. Yeah, anyways, see you guys later. I gotta go wake up somebody. Get up! Well? Gladys, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Harry, for doing this for me first thing in the morning. Excuse my moo moo. Excuse me, moo moo. Excuse me, moo moo. So, that tastes good. Oh, it's like almost chai tea, but not. The cardamom. I love cardamom. Oh my gosh. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Battery's about dead, too. Okay, well.
You guys, Harry's gonna open these up because I've gotta get, we're just gonna have uh, some kind of eggs, but I think I know what I wanna make, something different, you guys. So hopefully we've got power until then. So Harry's gotta open these up. I've gotta put this stuff away and we'll get cooking. Yes, indeed. Sardines, it's sardine time. So a lot of people have been asking what I feed uh, Sally. So I thought I'd show you real quick. So, I always weigh hers out. Hers gets, she gets a specific amount of food, and which isn't a whole lot, but she's very small. So I'll zero it out, because this way I know she's always getting the same food. So th today she's getting some ham, she's getting a little hamburger. She'll get chicken or hamburger. She'll always get some kind of meat. I like her to have the real meat, so I'm giving her basically just about 7.7 .7 of an ounce. So that's not even a full ounce. She's getting of that. Um, with that, she's getting the the uh, Pet Labs bi uh, probiotic chew. I put a little bit of this inside of here. I don't give her a whole one because she's small, you know. So I'll give her like this much in the morning and then this much in the evening so it's a quarter it's a quarter one or two quarters a day now this is uh, this is the um, zesty paws eight in one bites this has got a lot of vitamins and stuff in it and it's been shown to do a really good job so I'll give her like maybe just a little maybe about half depending you know um, what breaks off right because you try I try to keep it down to a half then I go ahead and I give her the same thing we get which is the MSM pure because of her back the back operation and all that stuff this seems to be really helping her a lot and I only give her a pinch of this stuff so I'll just reach in and grab a pinch and sprinkle that on So what this stuff is, it's uh, like a kibble, but it's called Taste of the Wild, Wild Prairie. High Prairie. High Prairie, excuse me. And um, it's got all kinds of different stuff in it that's really good for it, too. I have this listed in uh, on the website for people that want, you know, if they're just thinking it's about getting some. bison and venison, that one. This is, what is it? Bison and venison. This one's bison and venison, yeah. And then on top of that... I give her this, a little bit of this, not a whole lot of this. This is liver. This is dried liver. So that way she gets she gets a good amount of liver. And I'll give her a little bit of this. This is almost like a snack for her. So I'll give her, uh, you know, throughout the day. And that's basically it, man. Here. You all mix it all. Then you mix it all up. And pretty much that's it. Oh, this is the bite. This is the this is the um, liver liver that I just put in there. We get liver and cheese. This too from this them. you get from Chewy.com. Yeah, Chewy.com. So you know something else to think about if you want to give yourself some liver uh, dog some liver once in a while, or you can eat them too. I guess if you want to. You have. Uh huh. Oh, one more thing. We don't feed Sally anything with corn or grain or what else? Soy. Soy in it. Nothing at all. She doesn't get that. She's a, she's a dog. And if you think about how dogs ate out in the wild, they didn't go around, you know, picking corn and eating it. You know, stuff Wolves, like that. coyotes. Yeah, they always ate, you know, basically a lot of meat. Uh, you know, stuff They'll like that. So they'll eat a few plants and berries once in a while. Once in a while, they're... yeah, they will have like grasses and some berries if they find them on the ground, stuff like that. But not a whole lot. But anyways, that's pretty much why we're eat, feeding her this way, and it seems to be doing her really good, especially after that back operation. That seemed to be a great thing for her. But anyways, that's pretty much about all I got. Harry, kindly, kindly, did kindly, 
open the sardines. All of our appliances are flashing. We've changed them three times, so I'm not worried about it right now. In my little pan, I have a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna put a uh, little bit of garlic in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in here. Teaspoon. And then I am cracking eight eggs. I already have some water in this pan because we're gonna have a scrambled, we're gonna have a, an omelet, a sardine omelet, you guys. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna make it a four one because with the weather being crazy, three power outs, and I know you guys are used to worse weather where you live, but that's just it. You're used to it. You're used to winter. And here in Arizona, it's a desert town and they're not well, used, used to used anything. To that way. We, were we were. We were. We still had power outs. So what about generators and stuff. It here in the desert, the trees are the issue. They're dry desert trees and they break and snap and then they fall on the power lines. The uh, green Palo Verde, the blue Palo Verde, mesquite, they all snap and twist because our winds are wicked. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm heating this up because I want to heat my sardines. Yes, I do. Oh, okay, good. I was afraid I wouldn't have any uh, more cherry because I ran out of my other one. I've got more Redmond on the way too. Woo. This is cherry wood smoked Redmond salts. You guys can get 15% off. It is excellent. It is wonderful. You can get this. You can get the Chef's Blend, my favorite for steak, and you can get the hickory smoked in a three pack, wonderfully packaged for a gift for the barbecue aficionado master in your family. Keep them, you know, oh, love them. keep a couple in a drawer in case you need to grab a free gift because I'm telling you, these are excellent gifts. No, because as soon as you give it to them, after they use them a couple times, where did they're you guys gonna, get these? They're going to be hooked. I don't know anyone, and you guys may, because, you know, people have different tastes. I don't know anybody who does not like Redmond's smoked salt, that likes smoked salt and has purchased it. You know, if you don't like smoked salt, that's a different story, and you haven't bought any, why would you if you don't like smoked salt? However, for those of you who love it, it's awesome. Yes, it is. So I want to get this on here and heated. I have Parmesan cheese for the top. I have got, I'm going to make a lemon aioli, a lemon caper aioli to go on it. And I'm using true lemon crystals because it's wonderful if you don't have lemons. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, you guys, because it really works really well. Okay. Getting my sardines going in the pan. Gonna heat them up. I think really put these guys in here. Now they pack them in really good, man. Want this in the garlic and the butter. Where's Sally's dish? Can you grab it? It's right there. I washed it. Grab it real quick because I need to give her some. It's right there. Because it's got juice for Sally. And yes, dogs and cats love and appreciate the oil and the sardines. Yes, they do. Sally. Yeah, she needs a good one. I think. So I'm turning this off because I have an electric stove and it will keep the heat because I am just heating the sardines. I just want to heat them. I don't want to cook them. They have been cooked already. I don't want mushy sardines. No, I do not. Now, I want to salt them. Oh, this is brand new. You have to open this up. Well, I'll do it this way.
Which one is that? This is the cherry blend that I just showed. What does that could do? Like a pinch or whatever? Yes, just a pinch. Try to get them all tossed up over so they're coated with this wonderful olive oil. Some people like to cook in the olive oil from the can. You can. I just want the fresher taste. Uh, I don't want the fishy taste of the olive oil. That's just me. I'm new to this, so, you know, one day I'll love it. But right now, I want to do it this way. Okay, I'm covering this, and I'm exchanging this for that. And that's just going to sit here and meld in there. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to make my... Aioli mayo. Let me get a spoon. Okay, I've got my scale and I've got measuring my mayonnaise. Two ounces of mayo. this. Ooh, perfect. Thank you so much for this lovely gift. This was a gift. It's a can opener. It's wonderful. Works beautifully. Now, I want a little a bit. Of, it's a lid opener. It's a lid opener. I want to use a little bit of the brine and just some capers and some true lemon. Turning this off because I want a lemony Okay, I want to taste that. I want to mix it and taste it. A little bit more capers. I love capers. There you go. I'm going to put a little bit of cherry salt in here, a pinch. Mm, too much. Yes, indeed. Pinch. Little onion powder because I don't have any real onion. Just a little bit. Take the end of this spoon that's clean and taste it. Perfect. Okay, now I've got my pan heated for my eggs. Smoked paprika, I'm gonna add to my uh, lemon caper sauce here. Let's get a little bit of smoke. If you are allergic to oxalates and you can't have this, that's fine, but Harry and I use it. And so far, we haven't had any issues with it. And that'll give it a little bit of smokiness. Taste. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good, you guys. Now, got my eggs. It's an eight egg. You can do yours separately for people, but I just like putting it all in and just doing mine all at once. So you guys come back when we have a sardine omelet with smoky lemon caper aioli and Parmesan cheese on top. Sounds delicious to me. I just put in just a teaspoon of a horseradish mustard into this aioli and it kicked it up a huge notch. 
It is so delicious. Look at this. Doesn't that look delicious, you guys? Look at that. Creamy, smooth, delicious. That's going to be delicious on this. Man, is it going to be good. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait. Can't wait. See how that almost doing? Let me cover it a minute. Oh, I don't smell anything. Maybe you have a plastic, uh, little fish in there. A fish? Plastic fish. Plastic fish? Yeah. No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna take my sardines. Olive oil, butter and all are going right on top, you guys. That's what it is, maybe. All this deliciousness. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let me put this right here. Parmesan cheese. With a little true lemon. Yeah. Parmesan cheese. Makes it for a really, the texture, you know? I'm turning it off. I'm covering it just to get it nice and warmed up again, all melded together. I covered it. I'm taking it off the heat, and we're going to let that just sink in and marinate on top of those eggs, and we'll come back and we'll plate. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, you guys, I just wanted this to melt just a little bit and get the cheese just barely heated because that cheese is so good. But look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait it's a hot. minute. Wait a minute. Okay, you guys, look at this. This is beautiful. Look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it turned out really it nice. It smells huh? heavenly. Yes, it does. Now, when you serve it, you cut it, put it on the plate. We'll just go right through the middle here. You could serve this to anybody. You could do a side salad, you know. Yeah, because you got to try to get equal amount of uh, sardines, you know. This could be kind of hard. Yeah, these are pretty good, actually. Well, it's equal sardines for us because we're supposed to both eat a can. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The pie la resistance. Is this delicious? Let me get this to the middle. There we go. Is this delicious? Lemon caper smoked aioli sauce. We each get about two tablespoons. Now, I'm gonna finish it with a little bit more smoked salt. And you guys, look at that. That smells heavenly. Amazing. And it's going to be delicious. I want Harry to taste this, you guys. So come back in the next segment, and Harry will give it a taste test. And I might, too. Pick one, Harry. Pick yours. See it? Yep. So I want to get it with a little bit of everything. 
Ooh, right there, that'd be good. This one right here, yeah. right? Yep. A little bit of egg. Is the is the cheese on there? Well, I need some cheese. Where is the, the cheese? The cheese is right there. It's melted. That's why I said. Oh, hey, let me get yep. this piece. I'll put that on top. A little caper on top. Yep, see it? Mm-hmm. See if I can get to all of this. Can you guys see that? Away from my face. Marty, hold still. I'm the camera person. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Okay. Lemony, smoky, capery. That's really good, man. Is it? Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Filter, filter. Mm. Yeah, it worked. It worked really well, in fact. Mark, come on. You can tell Harry really likes it when he keeps eating and tries to talk in between because then he can get more. Okay, I'm going to get some cheese, some capers. There's some cheese right there. Capers. And a piece of right there. There you go. That's the ticket. Mmm. Mm hmm Wendy is a very loud eater. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's got the tartness of the capers. Mm. That dilly. That's got the cheesy parmesan. Now, if you're not a lemon person, omit the true lemon, right? And just make it a smoky. If you don't like smoke, omit the smoke. It's so easy to make, you guys. Make it your way, but you guys, gotta eat now. Yes, indeed. Hey, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and close out today. The weather is just not working for us. It's very scary because the power keeps flipping on and off. So there must be a transformer they've got a fix to or something. Anyway, you guys are a down tree branch. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Are you coming to say good night? You almost missed the boat. Go, Sal. Eggs and sardines.